It's a new type of danger. Fentanyl's different than any other opiate. And these Santa Clarita residents are trying to navigate it. It's so potent, it's so powerful. Uh, you can imagine, you know, one little granule or, you know, a tiny little bit, um, um, you know, could kill somebody. During a meeting last Tuesday, residents discussed the dangers of fentanyl with local law enforcement and healthcare professionals. So it's in pills, it's in powder form, it could be in vapes, it could be in marijuana, it could be in regular street level drugs from, you name it, methamphetamine, cocaine, heroin. It's basically, it's everywhere. I mean, there should, they, you can't recreation or, or experiment with any drugs today because all drugs are deadly. You don't know what's in anything today. Topics ranged from drug manufacturing to the emoji codes kids use to secretly discuss drugs. Fentanyl knows no socioeconomic boundaries. Kids are passing away from it. Um, adults, um, I, you name it. I mean, uh, people with good jobs, people with no jobs. It's, I mean, it is all over the board. It doesn't discriminate, you know, uh, my son-in-law passed away from a fentanyl overdose last October. He had uh, been injured when he was younger, and they gave him and prescribed oxycodone to deal with his pain management. So he was struggling with some, some severe pain, but couldn't get it prescribed from a doctor. So, you know, illegal, off the street, bad source, and it just takes a little bit. Although fentanyl is frighteningly potent, there is another drug that can prevent overdose. Narcan, Narcan, Narcan. Please keep a Narcan at your office, in your car, in your purse, in, you know, wherever. Although Narcan has seemingly miraculous properties, the speakers of this meeting said that the best way to prevent overdose is to avoid drugs altogether. Here's what I tell people at my rehabs. If you use, you'll die. It's matter when, not if.